Hockey 605. We're here with Coach Brett Hetland of the Okaboji Blizzard, Boji, excuse me, Boji Blizzard, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, now, I've vi visited with a couple of your players and I've learned that your team draws players from a variety of communities. Who all, where all do they come from? Uh, it's really a unique program, the fact we're based out of Spirit Lake, Iowa, but we're drawing kids from as far as Harris Lake Park all the way over to Estreville, Terrell, you go south all the way down to Spencer. So we're drawn from about a 30 mile radius. Wow, and, now, and where's your home ice? Our home ice is located right north of the YMCA in Spirit Lake, which is centrally located for the lake's residents. Okay, and um, did you guys just recently do some additions there? Actually, we just recently built an arena. It's uh, been kind of a phased approach, and this is our first full season being indoors. We started in October, so we're seeing some dramatic improvement in our kids, and our program is growing exponentially as our Mini Might program has over 25 kids in it, so that's a good... Well, that's good awesome. And it, it just goes to show if you build it, they will come, right? Absolutely. I mean, what started with something, uh, a 4x4 four four post net with Chicken Wire Winter Games in 2000 to where we are today, it's just exciting to see the kids get the opportunity to play. And it does take time to build a, a good program, doesn't it? It has taken time, but you know, a little bit of stubborn and perseverance, and uh, here we are today. Well, you'll have to share that. Spearfish South Dakota is just getting ready to start one. I don't know if you heard about that. I have not. Across the state, but, th but they're just starting it up, so I'm sure they could use words of encouragement. Oh, please uh, share my contact information with those guys, because we've it's been a 15-year process for us, and we want to help grow ice uh, arenas in the area, so anything we can do to help. Well, the more ice we have, the more kids can get on it, right? Absolutely. It's all about opportunity. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your team. Uh, got some great kids that we're playing in this Blizzard 1 team. Well, it's kind of fun because uh, this is our first time ever having enough kids in our program to split into two teams. Wow, congratulations. So some of these kids, it's uh, their first couple opportunities to get on the ice in a team format which is a great opportunity for them. Again, it's all about opportunities, and uh, they're going to learn so much over this, the course of this the whole weekend. And they, they look like they're having a, a lot of fun, um, oh. given that they're putting everything they have out there on the ice for you, aren't they? Absolutely, and you know what? This is a great facility, so they're looking forward to jumping in the pool right beside us here as well. Oh, true. Yeah, this is a great facility. Yes, it is. Although, uh, all they need to do is step outside. Maybe they'll change their mind uh, about that jumping in the pool, right? That's possible. All right. Well, we appreciate you taking some time with us. Congratulations on... Uh, being here and having such a great group of kids, you'll have to keep us posted on how the progress gro goes with your facility in Spirit Lake. Will do. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.